With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello friends, so here's a question. It says that A, B, C, D are four points in the space and satisfy mod of AB equals to 3, mod of BC equals to 7, mod of CD equals to 11 and mod of D equals to 9. Here mod basically means the magnitude, okay? And then value of AC dot BD is, right? So we have to find out the value of AC dot BD. Okay, so let's start. Let me draw the diagram first. So in this question, we have a quadrilateral. A, B, C, D, right? And then we have vectors, vector A, B as 3, vector B, C as 7, vector C, D as 11, and vector D, A as 9, right? And we have to find out vector A, C, that means this vector dot vector B, D, right? That means this vector, right? The dot product of these two vectors. Okay, so let's start. We have to find out vector AC dot vector BD, right? Now, I can write this vector AC as vector DC minus vector DA, right? If I draw this triangle ADC again, here, right? This point is C, this point is G, and here we have A. And this vector AC is like this, right? So, for this AC, I can write this vector AC as vector DC minus vector DA, right? Here, DC is actually the resultant of vector DA and AC, right? I can write from this triangle that vector DA plus vector AC is equal to vector DC, right? Because the resultant of these two vectors is this vector. So from here I can write that vector AC is equal to vector DC minus vector DA. Okay. So let's put this value of AC here. So I can write vector AC as vector DC minus vector DA. And I can write vector BD as minus vector DB. Right. Because when we... Rotate a vector by 180 degree, a minus sign came, right? Basically, if vector BD is like this, then vector DB will be like this, right? They will be both parallel but in opposite direction, right? So, if this is vector BD, then this, that is the parallel but opposite vector will be minus vector BD, right? Or you can write this as vector DB, okay? So, from here, I can write vector BD as minus vector DB, right? So, now... From here, I can write that vector AC dot vector BD is equal to vector minus vector DB into minus vector DA. That is vector DA dot vector DB minus vector DB dot vector DC, right? Dot vector DC, right? I simply uh, multiplied this vector. So, this will be minus vector db dot vector dc plus vector db dot vector da right now in triangle adb if i use cosine rule then i can write that cos of angle t will be equal to ad sorry vector da square plus vector db square minus vector ab square and this whole divided by 2 vector da dot vector db right similarly if i use this cosine rule in triangle p d c again i can write it cos of angle d will be equal to vector dc square plus vector db square minus vector bc square and this whole divided by 2 vector dc dot vector db right now let's come back to this equation so from here we have vector ac dot vector bd 
equals to dot product of these two vectors, right? So that will be basically mod of vector dA into mod of vector dB into cos of angle between these two vectors, right? So that is angle D, right? Or more precisely, angle A D B, right? Minus D B dot D C, right? So D B minus D C is also mod of vector D B into mod of vector D C into cos of angle between those two vectors and that is actually equal to angle B D C, right? So this is the final value of A C dot B D. Okay, so let's simplify this. So now, here this angle D is basically angle ADB, right? And here this angle D is basically angle BDC, right? So this, from here I can put the value of cos of angle ADB and from here I can write the value of cos of angle BDC, right? So I can replace this cos of angle ADB as this thing and cos of angle BDC is this whole thing right so let's replace this values all right so let's replace this values so this will become mod of da into mod of db into cos of angle adb so we had find out cos of angle adb as da square plus db square minus ab square and all divided by 2 da into db minus here this will become dc into db into uh, this cos of angle bdc we had find out as dc square plus db square minus bc square whole divided by 2 dc into db okay so here d and db will be cancelled out and here also dc and db will be cancelled out right so we finally have da square now vector da is given to us in the quotient as 9 right so this is 9 square plus vector db square minus vector ab square so ab is given to us as 3 right so 3 square will be let's say 3 square minus and this 2 is also there right minus dc square so vector dc is given to us as 11 right so that will be 11 square minus db square sorry plus minus bc so vector bc is given to us as 7 right so that will be 7 square divided by 2 so let's open this bracket so this will be 81 minus 9 plus vector db square minus 11 square that is 121 plus 49 minus db square right and this whole divided by 2 so here db square will be cancelled out and 81 plus 49 that is equal to 130 and minus 9 minus 121 is also 130 right so this is basically equal to 0 right so we got the value of vector ac dot vector bd as 0 right so this will be an answer that is the dot product of vector AC and vector BD will be 0, okay? So, this will be your answer. I hope this will help you. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.